In this Mendix Minutes, I will walk through a design pattern that I use frequently to build an alternative to the out-of-the-box reference set selectors. A reference set is an association between two entities where there is a many-to-many -many relationship. And the example that I've modeled here is the example of a student and the courses that that student may be enrolled in. So I've done a few things here to set this up. One is I created a, a, a simple page with two tabs, a list of courses and a list of students. And then I also have created a page for, to select courses for students. And then I've created a single microflow to toggle whether a given course is in the many-to-many -many association for a given student. So uh, this microflow is called from a selection page. And what we do is we retrieve the current course list for the student who's passed in. We check to see if the course that's passed in is currently in the list. And if that course is in the list, then we're going to remove it from the association. So I select the remove radio button. And if that course is not currently in the list, we're going to add that course to this association. So I'll show you this, uh, how this reference selector works. Uh, first, I've created some courses. I'll create uh, uh, one more here. And then I've created some students. And when I select one of these students in, this is a, uh, a data view that listens to this data grid. I see a list of the course names here. You can see that Jacob doesn't have any courses. So if I click my select courses button, it will open the pop-up window. And you can see I have these available courses. These are all the courses that I have uh, entered. And these are the current courses for this student. So I simply select one of these and add it. And now you can see that the uh, current courses includes mathematics and art for Jacob. And then when I'm done selecting courses, I close this page and move on to the next student. So. For BART, I will add literature and science and history. And you can see that I set this. One other important thing to look at here is uh, the way that these uh, two data grids work on the selection uh, page. The first data grid is all the courses that the, that student is currently enrolled in. And this uh, XPath shows the courses where uh, the, that student course association is the current object, which is our student. And then the one for the courses that are not in the list currently is uh, just the, the uh, negative of that uh, previous grid. So I find myself using this a development pattern pretty often for a number of different use cases, and I thought that you might find it useful as well. Thanks.